you know, FNAF Security Breach was not that good. But that has nothing to do with this video. This video has to do with why I think FNAF should just die now as a legendary game. I mean, series. Bruh. Uh, yes, 2015, where FNAF started. It was very popular on YouTube, and I watch YouTubers play it all the time. And it was a blast of a game. And then theorists came in and started doing theories, and they were very interesting. Then FNAF 2 came in, that was a blast too. And then it helped out the theorists find out the backstory of FNAF. And FNAF 2 had way more lore than FNAF 1. Then FNAF 3 came and that was also a blast and it also had more lore. And then people thought that FNAF 3 was the last game. Then FNAF 4 teasers came out people thought that was the last FNAF. FNAF 4 was also a very unique game but it didn't really have that much lore compared to everything else. And then Sister's Location, uh, it was still pretty good, but it wasn't really good compared to everything else. This was when I think Scott started lacking and getting tired. They, they added a unique gameplay, but it wasn't really that good, and there wasn't a lot of lore. And then Oh Boy, and then the sixth one came out, aka the uh, Build Your Own Pizzeria. That added a huge ton of lore, especially the ending. It, the ending felt epic. I thought that, like, if it could have just ended right there, like, the FNAF series could have ended on FNAF 6. It was a perfect ending. Oh yeah, uh, editing here, I forgot to add FNAF World, but we don't really talk about that. But sadly, they had to continue FNAF, so they released FNAF VR, which was pretty good, and then the weird mobile game of FNAF AR. FNAF VR kind of changed the whole story in a dumb way. It was like, oh hey guys, do you ever wonder if FNAF was a game? In FNAF, it just ruined all of the theories that people had made of FNAF. And then FNAF Security Breach came out and, eh. I personally think it kind of just sucked. I definitely saw that this was going to be the last game Scott was making. There were so many bugs and the, it was just like the story wasn't that good. Like you could tell Scott was just tired of it. And then Scott said that he was quitting FNAF. And of course we still haven't gotten the FNAF movie, which I really don't care about. I think that FNAF should just stop right now and just end it. It's like right now it could just die as a legendary series that was really fun. A popular series can either die as a legendary series or keep going until it goes to a bad series. And editing here again, I also forgot to mention about Ultimate Custom Night and we do kind of talk about that but I just forgot. So Scott can either give the ownership of FNAF to someone else or he can just not do it and then just stop FNAF. I think that the second option is the best idea. Scott Kaufman has earned a lot of money from this, so he can just, you know, just leave the series with a bunch of money in his hands. There are still some holes in the lore of FNAF, but I don't think we really need to care about that anymore. But I'm happy that I was at least able to feel all of the FNAFs when they came out. The game series was very amazing, it was fun, I had my scares, I had my laughs, but it should just end now. It would go down as one of the best game series in the world, with Call of Duty and Halo and all that. FNAF was part of our childhood and you have to lose your childhood. And don't get me wrong, the FNAF fan games were also really awesome. Scott Cawthon could just stop FNAF and people could just make FNAF fan games. But anyway, thank you for watching and thank you Scott Cawthon for making the best series I've ever played. Watch me! Watch me! Watch me!